Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I don't know if you guys saw, I did a part one where I tried to go from like burgundy and black to blonde and it didn't work. So this time, now that I'm like full red, I'm gonna go ahead and try it again now that I have all the knowledge and all the wonderful comments that were left under that video. So if you have not watched that video, I'll link it down below. Make sure you watch it. It was a very funny video and we're gonna go ahead and get straight into this one. So like again, I'm trying to dye my hair blonde. My roots, blonde. Everything blonde. And I think that I'm prepared to do the things that need to get done. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got so far. So first I do have some Carol Professionals Pure White 30 Developer and also the 20 Developer. I'll be using BW's Bleach. I have the box, the little bucket somewhere, but I don't know where I'll put it. Gloves, of course, the spatula and the little bowl that goes with it, the color remover, and finally the Wella T35 toner for my blonde hair. So my hair, as you can see, is, well, it's red. It's just that I have like a blue wax and I'm pretty sure it just runs out, but I don't want to get my hair wet because in order to do the color remover, my hair needs to be dry. So I'm going to go ahead and separate my hair and get it ready to put the color remover. Alright you guys, so my hair is in four sections and I'm going to go ahead and start making the mixture to apply to my hair. So like I said, I'm using the color remover, two packs of this, and I'm also using 20 developer to mix it. I've seen people use water and it didn't work. It took them multiple attempts to get their hair lighter and I don't got time for that. I don't want to be doing all that. So we're going to use the 20 developer like it says. And we're gonna leave it on for 30 minutes, 30, 35 minutes, depending on how it looks. All right, let's get mixing. This is my first time using these packets and I don't know how much it takes. So I just went and bought two. But I've seen people use more than like four packets honestly hopefully it'll be enough all right so we got that in now we're gonna go ahead and add in the 20 developer All right, you guys, so it's ready to apply. Let's go ahead and start applying it to the head. Let's get started. I'm really nervous, like, what if the red doesn't come out and I gotta, like, go back to the beauty supply store and, like, do this all over again? I don't wanna do it all over again. I'm sorry, but I need to get my hands up in this. Really make sure like this color is saturated and it's coming out. So I'm just taking my time and just massaging it into my hair. Making sure it's in there. And I'm sorry my face looks like this, but this does not smell good at all. Alright, next section. All right, so as you can see, this side is already starting to lighten and this one I just finished. I did not have enough. I think three packets would have been great. So for my thickness, if you're watching this video and you wanna use this lightener, I say use three packets or four. 
because two was not enough one side is more saturated than the other and yeah but we're gonna pray that this comes out good y'all i do not want to take another trip to the beauty supply store so i'm gonna go ahead and put this up in a cap and i'll be back in 35 minutes all right you guys so now it's time to see what this looks like it's been about 20 minutes and i can already feel the heat so i'm gonna go ahead and take this off from the looks of it it doesn't look like any color was taken off what the fudge i'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off and we're gonna see how it looks because it doesn't look like any color was taken off i'll be right back all right you guys so i just rinsed out the color remover and it removes a lot like i'm not even mad that it didn't remove all because it was a lot of um red in my hair but this is not bad right now i had already like washed off my strands i went ahead and shampooed and now my hair just has conditioner in it and this side is a little darker because this had more product in it than this side which is completely fine i'll just add more i'll do this side first and then do this side so i'm gonna go ahead and put my hair up in sections and let it dry and then because it's eight o'clock nine o'clock right now yeah it's nine o'clock right now so i'm going to let my hair dry and then i'm gonna go to the beauty supply store get two more packets and we'll be ready to continue this little saga so i'll see you guys in the morning when it's time for me to remove the color again bye all right you guys so i am back i got bleach and i'll catch you guys when i finish doing that all right you guys so like i said i'm gonna go ahead and start putting in the bleach and a developer together as i stated before in the video i'll be using the bw bleach and i'm going to use six scoops of that oops and the reason why i'm using so much is because i have a lot of hair and i always tend to run out of product so i'd rather have more than less after that, I'm going to go ahead and use a 30 developer and I don't measure this, but I'm going to try to like, you know, 
add as I go. All right, you guys, so I rinsed out all the bleach and shampooed and conditioned my hair. My scalp is the color that I wanted it to. On camera, my hair looks a lot darker than it actually is. My hair is really light, and for some reason on the camera, it looks darker. So, we're just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to, again, split my hair into four sections, and I'll show you guys how I mix the toner and the developer. I ended up not using the T35. I just went ahead and mixed T11 and T15 because I wanted a certain color. I wanted it to be still light and close to ash blonde. I didn't want it really, you know, brown. And I also added 20 developer in this toner too. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up and we're gonna go straight into applying. As I said before, for some reason on this camera, my hair looks a lot darker. However, um, it, it was actually very light. And if I can see it, then I know you can see it. I definitely did miss a spot or two, but I wasn't too concerned about it because of how small it was and because I know the toner would even out my roots. Just to let you guys know that this was a three day process and afterwards my scalp hated me literally. Even keeping on the toner for a certain amount of time burnt my scalp. Well, I wouldn't say burned, but it was like a very irritating feeling having it on my scalp for too long. And I did end up toning my hair twice because the first time my roots were still orange. Alright, so I applied the toner about 25 minutes ago and now I'm getting ready to rinse it out. For me, I don't think this is going to do anything. For some reason, like I genuinely feel like it's not going to help. But I'm going to go rinse this out, shampoo and condition my hair again, and I'll be back. Alright, you guys, I was unable to film an ending part to this video. However, I did want to show you how my hair came out 
and I completely loved it. The only cons to this was that there was pink pigment at the top of my hair and after a while it started to wash out which I expected from it becoming a temporary color but yes my hair is blonde and I love it. I did lose my curl pattern on one side of my hair but you can only see, my, see it when my hair is wet so that is a good thing but thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.